Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Right now I am in a small village in Romania just outside Bucharest. I'm heading to the Snagov Monastery, which is famous for supposedly holding the remains of Vlad Tepes or Vlad the Impaler, better known as the real life inspiration for Dracula. I'm gonna go check it out and I thought that I'd bring you guys here since I'm traveling to so many haunted places throughout Romania this October and so many of them are linked to uh, Vlad so I thought I'd go check out his burial site with you. <laughs> So this is the church where supposedly uh, Vlad the Impaler, Vlad Tepes uh, remains uh, exist in. I will take you in there and we'll have a look at where he is supposedly buried in a minute. But I say we have a look around the island and see if there's uh, anything else that we can spot here. That's a well. Oh shit, it's a real one. This is... <laughs> it's gonna sound dumb. This is actually the first real well I have ever seen that people are getting water out of. Right? <laughs> Damn. So Snagoff Monastery actually has a lot of really interesting history that is overshadowed by mystery. So the stone church uh, that we seen as we walked in was believed to be built sometime in the 15th century, though there has been other churches on the island much earlier than that. So some locals believe that the island may be cursed because these earlier churches didn't last. Supposedly there was a wooden church that uh, crumbled and there was another one that sort of sunk into the lake somehow. There's also been quite a dark history associated with the island. Supposedly Vlad had some connection with it where he had built fortifications nearby and had structures such as torture chambers and prison here. The island has also been used as a prison in more recent years and some of those structures are still able to be seen today which I'll show you shortly. But the really interesting uh, piece of history here is to do with Vlad Tepes, Vlad the Impaler. Many many people People do believe that he is buried here on this island inside the Snagov Monastery. So there's a bit of controversy surrounding that. Some people thought that he was buried uh, right at the front of the church and the legend surrounding that was that Vlad committed so many atrocities during his lifetime that anyone entering the church would have to walk over his grave and take upon some of his sins onto themselves. Sometime in the 1930s, I believe it was, that place was actually excavated. There was no conclusive evidence to say that Vlad was actually in there. There were some artifacts found and a lot of animal bones, but they weren't, it wasn't the headless torso that they believe is buried here. The same goes to say for the uh, burial place, which is marked as being for Vlad inside the church. His body has never been conclusively located here at Snagov monastery even though many people believe it to be. So Vlad was famously beheaded. I actually went to the place where he was fought to be killed recently. I will link that video below. It's a very uh, interesting place also. But for now we're at Snagov Monastery and I really want to take you inside and check out what is supposedly the burial location of Vlad the Impaler. I read online behind the church there's still some remnants of an old prison here. Uh, I'm going to try and track that down. I don't know exactly what area it's supposed to be. We'll go for a little walk. Okay, we just found some trainees. Naturally, I need to go in for a look. There's so many. This one's got a beard like yours. <laughs> So I did read online that there are remnants left over from the old prison and I've searched the entire island and couldn't really find anything but there are these things on the floor here that at first I thought were stone pathways but 
how they are laid out kind of is leading me to think that maybe these are prison cells. I can't say 100% for sure because I don't know and I can't really ask because I don't speak Romanian. Um, but this is all I can see that kind of makes sense for what would be left over from a prison. So this place is really quite beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any ghost stories to uh, go with this location. The island definitely has a dark history, uh, one of torture, imprisonment, and then of course we have the supposed burial place of one of the most ruthless and bloodthirsty warlords. guys i think i've kept you waiting long enough it's finally time for us to go check out dracula's grave This dog just chilling right in a bush. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am just about to leave the Snagoff Monastery. I am not going empty handed though. I bought myself a wine that they actually make here. Of course I chose a red, the color of blood. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I have plenty more spooky places from all around Romania coming this October. If you're after a bit more reading or you want to find out how to get to the Snagoff Monastery yourself, head to amyscrypt.com. Until next time, stay spooky.